forces of evil assault this quintessential American lifestyle, that's a case for Daryl Dawkins' Trailer Park Detective. Tonight, join us as Daryl Dawkins' Trailer Park Detective investigates the case of the wandering hot walker. <laughs> the day dawned unbearably hot and humid, with a cloudless sky that offered no shelter from a blazing sun so intense it could blister the chrome on a trailer hitch. All in all, it was the kind of day that made South Shore residents wonder if maybe the snowbirds might have the right idea after all. But as I contemplated a day in the cool comfort of my new office air conditioner, fate came calling. Hello? Yeah, this is Dawkins. You can't find a husband. Have you tried Christian Mingle? Oh, you can't find your husband. Okay, I'll be right over. The call is from a woman whose double wide was one of four well-kept trailers that loitered at the end of an inconspicuous dirt driveway off Route 41. It seems that her husband hadn't come home last night, and it was not like him to spend the night elsewhere or not call if he was going to be late. Despite the heat and humidity, and the fact that the four trailers could not actually be considered a true trailer park, I decided to take the case. I gunned my motorcycle and headed out to investigate. As I pulled into the carport, I noticed a sign next to her trailer door. It read, palmistry and psychic readings. Before I could reflect on its full import, the woman came running out to greet me. She was thin and looked to be about 60. Her normally pleasant expression was clouded by the obvious concern she showed for her missing husband. I introduced myself. Ms. Novak, I'm Daryl Dawkins. Yes, I know. Oh, Detective Dawkins, what am I going to do? Stefan didn't come home last night. Well, did he? No, and it's not like him not to come home or not to call when he's going to be delayed. I see. Miss Novak, I couldn't help but notice your sign here. Does Mr. Novak do psychic and palm readings? No, I do. You're a psychic and you don't know where your husband is. <laughs> That's not as strange as you might think, Detective. For those of us with the gift, it only works when we use it to help someone else. It shuts down if we try to help ourselves or even a close family member such as a spouse. Ah, so you have no idea? Idea where my husband may be? No, not a clue. That's why I called you. Well, what does... My husband do for a living? He's a retired hot walker. A retired... Hot walker, that's right. What do... Hot walkers do? They work at the racetrack. When a horse works out or runs a race, he gets all lathered up. Hot walkers walk a horse to help it cool down before it's returned to its stall. Over his 40-year career, my husband estimates he has walked over 200,000 miles. Amazing. So how does a retired... A retired hot walker spend his days these days? Well, you might imagine he can't just stop a routine you followed for 40 years just cold turkey. So every day he takes a walk. He just gets up and wanders off. Doesn't even have breakfast. Where does he go? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> All over this rural county, I guess. Each morning he heads down our driveway to where I don't know. But he always returns punctually in time for dinner. Well, let me... See what you can do? <laughs> oh, thank you, Detective Dawkins. You're... Welcome? Yeah. I was intrigued by this case. I left her yard, determined to find her husband. But she knew that. <laughs> Since Stefan had started each day by walking down their driveway, I figured that that was the best place to start. I recall seeing a small diner out on 41 near her driveway entrance and decided to use it as a temporary base of operations. I entered the well-worn eatery and took a booth. The place was empty except for a waitress, the chef, 
and a male patron a few, a few booths away. The waitress paused for a few beats before approaching. She was a cute kid with kind of a cocky attitude. Hi, welcome to Shea Ruskin. What can I get you? <laughs> I'm a first timer. How's the food? Are you kidding? We were almost selected to be on diners, drive-ins, and dives. Does that mean your food is almost good? <laughs> Cute. My name is Dawkins, Daryl Dawkins. I'm here investigating a missing persons case. No joke. Who's missing? Do you know Stefan Novak? Stefan? Sure, I know him. He usually comes through here twice a day. Once in the morning for breakfast, and once in the afternoon to chat with Frank. Who's Frank? The chef. Ah. Well, have you seen him today? No, come to think of it, I haven't. But it was kind of busy this morning. I might have missed him. Well, his wife says he didn't come home last night. Oh, wow. I hope he's okay. I think I'll just have a coffee. And I'll be talking to that fellow in the booth to see what he may know. So if you don't mind, please bring it to me over there. One coffee coming up. I approached the lone male patron sitting a few booths away. He was startled when I plopped down across the table from him, but he quickly recovered. Hi, I'm Daryl Dawkins, Trailer Park Detective. Hi, I'm Jimbo Ranger. What brings you to my booth? I'm investigating a missing persons case, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. Okay. What is it you do, Mr. Granger? I own a palm tree plantation. A palm tree plantation? Yeah. I grow landscape quality palm trees for housing developers and individual homeowners. Now, you take your foxtail palm. Yeah, well, I'm here investigating a different kind of palm business. I'm not surprised. There are over 2,500 varieties of palms in the world, Mr. Dawkins, and almost all of them can grow in Florida, so the demand here is overwhelming. Now, people who move to South Shore from other parts of the country, they want five things. Sun, beaches, those little plastic pink flamingos you see on their lawns, <laughs> golf, and palm trees, and I help meet that need. Now, you take your sable palm, for example. I'd rather not just now. I need to find out if you know Stefan Novak, and if so, when was the last time you saw him? I don't actually know him, but I know who he is. He comes in here a lot, mostly for breakfast or to talk with Frank in the afternoon and things slow down. Do you know if he's been in today? Oh, I got here late by and see him. The palm tree business can be nuts sometimes. I see. So there's nothing else you can add? Sorry, that's about it. Your, your best bet would be to talk to Frank. They're friends. If anyone knows where he is, it'd be Frank. Thanks. I'll do just that. Oh, and Detective Dawkins, uh, if you need a deal on a dwarf Washingtonian, just let me know. I'll take good care of you. Okay, I'll do that. Frank seemed to be the logical focus of this little mystery. Lunchtime would begin soon, and the noon rush would be sure to tie him up for a couple of hours. But to my surprise, he agreed to see me. To maximize my hold on his time, I got right to the point. Frank, I'll get right to the point. Stefan Novak didn't come home last night, and his wife doesn't know where to find him. Uh, well, I, I, she looked in her crystal ball. <laughs> Apparently, it doesn't work like that. You see, people with the gift can't use it to help themselves. Yeah, 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 I know. I was just having a little fun with you. It's just that it's maddening to live with someone who finishes your every sentence. I get that. So is that why Stefan leaves every day for one of his walks? Yeah, pretty much. Although after 40 years of walking five hours a day, you kind of feel like you should be moving most of the time. You know what I mean? I suppose. Do you know where he is? Specifically, no. Generally, yeah. What is that? Well, Stefan stopped by yesterday afternoon, like he usually does. Seemed like something was bugging him. I waited him out and he finally spilled. He said retirement wasn't what he thought it would be. Said his wife was driving him crazy, finishing his sentences all the time. Said the only way he could cope was to go walking all day. And then, yesterday, it hit him. If he was going to walk all day, he might as well get paid for it. Detective Dawkins, he got so excited, he rushed right out of the diner and headed straight for the nearest racetrack. 
Said if he left right then, he could probably be there by the time the first workout session started in the morning. I guess he was so excited he forgot to tell his wife that he wouldn't be home that night. Or maybe he figured the gift would tell her. <laughs> so where is he now? Probably, uh, I would guess he's probably on his way back. I don't think they would have hired him on the spot. You know, there's paperwork to do, a physical to take, references to check, a lot of stuff you got to do. Got it. Thanks, Frank. You've been a big help. By the way, congratulations on almost making diners, drive-ins, and dots. Oh, yeah, thanks. That was a big disappointment, though, for us. Joseph Greek Place down in Sarasota. Or it might have been up in uh, Gip Town. No, 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 no. It was in Brandon. I'm sure it was that Greek Place in Brandon. Frank seemed like a stand-up guy. I decided to take his word for things. If he was telling the truth, my wandering hot walker would be showing up any time now. I hurried back down the driveway to tell his wife. Detective Dawkins, you're back so soon. I hope you have good news. Indeed I do. I know where... My husband is? And why he didn't come home last night? Yes. It has to do with your finishing people's sentences. No. I finish people's sentences? Yes. It's almost as if you know what they're going to say. Oh, my goodness. I, I had no idea I was doing that. That's why your husband leaves the house all day. It's driving him crazy. Oh, poor Stefan. But where is he, Detective? He'll be walking down your driveway any minute now. <gasps> My goodness, Detective. There he is now. How, how did you know that, Detective Dawkins? Do you have the gift? <laughs> As Daryl Dawkins' trailer park detective, it's my job to know. When the forces of evil assault this quintessential American lifestyle, that's a case for Daryl Dawkins' trailer park detective. Join us next time when Daryl Dawkins' trailer park detective investigates the case of the pet palmetto bug.